The new automatic work plan option can be activated and deactivated here within the settings uh, area. So if we come and create a new work plane, you'll see as I move the cursor about, the origin will start orientating automatically depending on where I've got the cursor on, on the model. And if I pick on an edge of the model, you can see the, the x-axis snaps to follow the edge that I'm running the cursor over. And then if I place or select a point, uh, it positions the origin, I can then uh, adjust it more by sliding the sliders, so the position sliders and the rotational sliders. So you can, you've can you got a full range of adjustment there. And then if you move the cursor by dragging the, the centre sphere to another position, you can move it to a brand new uh, position altogether. So if I create a new origin, and if I pick a line there that's actually on that face, you can see that the X snaps to that edge. And if I press Alt and then grab one of the the arrows you can see I can actually rotate that to match a different position so and then move it just by dragging a slider so if I come over to here and create some other work planes if I snap to an existing saved work plane you'll see that the, the new automatic work plane will automatically snap to match that origin now I've got three lines here what I'm going to do is create an origin to match uh, the orientation so I click on a line snaps the X, but then the other origins are in the wrong position. So I'm pressing the Alt key now to be able to reorientate the the X, Y, and Z to, to match the correct orientation, and then just hit the tick, which saves that as a um, temporary work plane. So I've got three points now. So I've got no line elements. So the system won't automatically orientate, but if I pick on one of the points and then again use this Alt key, press the Alt key down, keep it selected, grab. The, uh, the arrows and then with the alt key selected can just rotate them uh, which just locks the position of the origin and uh, I can match up the, the points and get the XYZ where I want them. And if I drag the sphere you can see if I rotate it it's going to rotate the origin from that from that anchor point. So that's creating new work planes. Um, this new automatic work plane also works with creating um, geometry also. So. Now what I'm going to do is create a sphere, create some holes in this part, and you'll see there, as I move the cursor around, the origin or the work plane will snap, but it only snaps to a planar faces. So I've created one hole there, which is square to the face, or normal to the face. And if I move the cursor, let the origin move, and you can see the origin moves nicely for me. It also works with 2D geometry, so I'll create a profile here. As I move the cursor, you can see the origin changes. So I'll put a slot on that face. And if I come over to this face over here, the origin moves again, and now I'm creating 2D geometry square on that face.